Hello everyone in Cyber World. Welcome back to another video. I'm Richard. Wait, are you gonna film like this? Look at this. Oh, much better. And back to the video. I'm Richard. And I'm Jennifer. And this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. Previously, on a video we made, we did a photo transfer for the first time where we took pictures and we put them on uh, various sources such as wood, we did metal, and we did glass. Some things worked out really well, some things not so well, but it was still a fun project. Uh, since then, we've had quite a few views and a lot of viewers have given us advice on different things to try. So, um, out of respect to our viewers, we decided to go ahead and take up uh, the advice and see what we can do. Some of the things that we have been suggested to use use instead of uh, what we did originally of Mod Podge was to use polyacrylic and something referred to as Liquitex which is similar I believe to Mod Podge but they say it works better. Uh, in addition there were some other techniques that they wanted us to try so we're going to go ahead and give several of these a try and see how they come out this time. But before we get to the project please leave us a comment or hit the like button because it helps our channel grow and if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button below. In our first video, we exclusively used label paper, and we're gonna show you how we do that. But um, one of our viewers, Carrie Dorr, had suggested that you actually just print it on regular paper, and although it's a little more troublesome to get the image to transfer, um, she believes that it actually is a better picture. And we've seen quite a few of those, so uh, although it's going to be a little troublesome, we figured we better give it a try. So we're gonna print on paper first. For the rest of the pictures, we're going to print on label paper. What we're going to do is peel off the label itself, print on the slick side with the toner is going to go on this portion. And what it's going to do is not going to stick to this portion of the paper so it can transfer easily. Okay, so for the first one, what we're gonna be using is wood once again. Uh, we will be using glass and metal. Um, now, in the previous videos, we exclusively used Mod Podge, but uh, let's see, we've got a couple users. Let's take a look here. We had, oh. Okay, we have uh, Susan Swalis and Glenn Michael Thompson both recommended using polyacrylic. We've never done this before, but we're gonna give it a try. In addition, one of the other users in, uh, suggested instead of using a roller like we did or just applying pressure, that you wanna scrape this from the middle out to make sure that all the, the uh, adhesive uh, sticks to it. And what they recommended is something along the lines of this type of scraper or even a credit card. So we are gonna use that method because that sounds brilliant. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Next, we're gonna use the Liquitex gel. We're gonna apply it to the pitcher and see how this comes out.
Okay, and next one, we had a recommendation that uh, black and white comes out very rustic looking. I think it looks like a good idea, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, use this picture of Diamond Head, and we're going to put it on glass. But again, we know how Mod Podge works, so we're going to once again use Liquitex and give it a try. All right, now for the last image, we're going to go back to using a sheet of metal again. Um, now, one of our viewers had the great idea that pointed out, because we kept having problems where the image wouldn't stick to it, recommended that first you, do, you use a degreaser or a dissolvent to uh, clean everything from this first, and also to sand it down a little bit, and the sanding will give it a surface uh, for the glue and the image to stick to, which I think is a brilliant idea. So let's go ahead and first we're gonna sand this, clean it, and then we're going to to add the Liquitex and an image to this as well. Okay, this time we're going to do something slightly different. Um, instead of putting the, uh, the Liquitex onto the image and then flipping it onto the surface of the item, what we're going to do is we're going to put the um, Liquitex directly on the metal and then we're going to add the image to that, see if it makes a difference or not. So for our last one, we're going to use regular paper and put it on the wood. Okay, unlike the Mod Podge, what we have discovered is the polyurethane and the uh, Liquitex gel um, did not dry as fast as the Mod Podge. So um, we decided to make sure it was completely dry. So we are now um, sitting here two days later to see the results of our various tests. So which one do you want to start with? Um, I'll start with the polyurethane. Okay, so yes. all of these were flattened, we put weights on them, and so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at how they came up. Well, this did not turn out as well as expected. This is the polyurethane one, and obviously um, it was just a hot mess. All right, so obviously this didn't work, doesn't mean that it, it um, polyurethane does not, or I'm sorry, polyacrylic doesn't function properly. It just means that we may have done something incorrectly or it doesn't work with the back of labels and it might have been worked better with uh, regular paper. So um, although we're gonna have to count this as an epic fail, um, I'm not going to say don't use polyacrylic because we've had a couple people that recommended using it, so they must have, they must have been doing something right and we did something wrong. Okay, the second one we're gonna take a look at is the black and white on glass. Okay, this looks promising. Oh, that look. That looks actually looks pretty good. How about with a white background? Yeah, that I think is a success. So this is the Liquitex gel on glass using um, the sticker paper. Now this one is the Liquitex acrylic gel with the label paper. We'll go ahead and take a look and see how this one does. Ah, 
This one came out beautifully. Very good. We're really happy with this one. In our uh, original video on photo transfer, we tried print printing on metal and uh, it came out okay, but wasn't quite good. So this one here is our new attempt and this one is also using the uh, Liquitex gel. So let's see. Okay, compared to the original one, this came out fantastic. So I'm really starting to think that um, rather than Mod Podge and um, for us, uh, the Liquitex gel seems to be the best thing. This was really nice. So here is our last one and we use regular paper with the Liquitex gel. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how this one does. Now this one is not the same as the other paper in that the paper is now completely um, stuck to the wood. So how we have to um, clear this is we have to wet this paper and little by little rub it off until the picture itself remains. Um, this is, seems to be one of the more common ways of doing it. Um, my understanding is the picture comes out much clearer, um, but it's a lot of uh, a lot of work to wet this and, and rub off all the paper compared to the uh, the other label paper that we use that just peels right off. But um, we wanted to see how, how much nicer it looks, so we'll give this one a try. So here's the paper one, and we kept rubbing off the paper, but as you can see, if you rub too hard, part of the um, picture comes off. So this was with the, um, the Liquitex um, acrylic gel. But what are your thoughts? Um, yeah, I mean, overall, you can see the image and it's not bad, but um, we're having a tough time where if you lightly rub it to just try and get the paper off to leave the image, um, it's still not very clear. And if you rub too much, then it takes off the whole toner. And so, although it, it is an image that transferred over wood, it's not clear as any of the other ones that we have done before. So I don't know if I would call this one a success. Right, uh, right. I still think um, the, the one that we're happiest with is using the Liquitex gel um, with the back the label paper and because it peeled right off nice and clean there was no water or anything it was just the simplest one at all and the image looks fantastic mm -hmm. so I think this is a clear winner for us the Mod Podge using this method also came out pretty good but this is the big winner by far Overall, we had a fun time doing this project. We had some epic fails and su successes, but we did actually pretty good and we enjoyed it. Yeah, um, we have some ideas now on uh, making more of these. Um, I think we might even make a different video where we're gonna show how we're gonna continue to make with new photos, print them out, transfer them onto wood, and then uh, a way that we're going to display those, but that will be for another time. Uh, next week, we have a project. If you've seen our Instagram, we ran into a little problem with our AC unit and um, it caused a lot of water in the ceiling, which in turn ruined our ceiling, big old puddle of water. And uh, so we're going to have to do a repair on that. And instead of the $2,000 that our insurance company quoted us and that uh, we would have to pay for, um, we're gonna do it ourselves, of course, DIY. So I look forward to that video. And after that, we've got a whole new, I think we're gonna be making a series. We got some wonderful news that our granddaughter, along with our, our son-in-law and our daughter are gonna be moving Moving back into uh, Hawaii and they'll be here for a few years Yay. and so um, we realized that although our home is the way that we like it it is by no means baby safe so uh, we're gonna have to come up with a whole bunch of projects to um, uh, make our home a little bit safer for the little one so uh, we've got some a big list now that we're gonna have to be making a bunch of stuff so until we meet again bye-bye